Good morning. September the 10th. And we're... What are we at? About 8? Yep, yeah, oh, 0800. So... There's 283. <clears throat> that's the one that's uh, giving us all this beautiful hot plasma. And high energy solar inclusions. Did you trigger the van the one de Fuca fault off Port Alberti in BC? Huh? Did you? Oh <laughs> you little monster, look at that. You got like a little doggy face. Hey? Look at that. Little doggy face on you. There's the nose. And there's the eyes. Okay, well Enough of that. I know, you're just doing your thing. And if you didn't, son... We're not quite in this one stream, but soon we'll be. If you didn't, we'd all be dead. Long ago. Without your mother's milk there, heavenly host. Which you're not mother, you're actually like big big sister. We would have no comforter. We would have no We would have no atmosphere, we'd have no geomagnetic shield what's whatsoever to speak of. I mean we'd have one, but it wouldn't be like it is. So you can see the size of this. Look at that. Damn near half the length of my finger. Well, my finger arm. That, that, that's a finger arm. <clears throat> now. Okay, the winding has not quite gone to the dangerous level, but it's well on its way, and you can see it's it's big. It's a lot bigger. Now, does that mean that's the bulk of it that's already come up to the surface? Yep. You can see all the blue around there, the north, which is kind of like a corona hole. Well, and at the bottom, 1287 is starting to leak too, eh? Okay, well. Let's see what space weather has to say this morning. Anything coming off at 1283 right now would still be Earth directed. By the end of the day, it would be Earth glancing, but you never know because things change direction a lot when you got a lot of activity happening between us and the Sun. Um. In a way, it's still saying we have plenty of trouble on the horizon. Uh, this is a little old. So it may have decreased a little or went up. It looks like it's increasing. Okie doke. There, for all of you that have never seen this part, see what that is? This is space weather still. And you can click on any of these, and it'll give you your 
or little paths. This here is the one to that goes between us and the moon, or within the moon's orbit, on November the 8th. 8.8 lunar distances. Could be big trouble. Who knows what it's bringing with it. <laughs> Out of uh, Comet Fragments Elenin. I don't know why you, you guys believe the fucking shit that some morons are putting out. They get paid to do that, you know. Just to keep you fucking confused. And to make a whole joke out of everything. Everything that's not owned by some fat, bald-headed prick. The Zionazius Hollywood Consortium. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Listen, nothing can come into the heliosphere without leaving signs. And a huge motherfucking planet coming in would have left something a lot bigger than than what Ibex started, that plasma filament. So let's take a quick look. I'm gonna make this short so we can upload it. Yes, they were into my computer and stopped the download of all the three. Change my settings. Nice trick. Change my uh, when it shuts off settings, power settings, and. <laughs> Or something did. So, anyhow. They obviously have gotten in there before. So there you go. Isn't she beautiful? Huh? Keeps us warm. Keeps us fed with the plants that convert our energy. Keeps us comfortable with her comforter, the heliosphere. And lets us know when something big is coming in. And leaves things like the plasma filament. Oh, there you go. We don't want to make this too long or it'll never upload. Dogs are nice, clean, and dry. Alright, so, if we don't lose the uh, grid and I don't get attacked anymore, we should have some nice uploads explaining a little bit of basic astrophysics. Which I suppose, had any of you listened to it before, you wouldn't have gotten lied to by these these buffoons that want to ruin our hobby. Make fucking joke of our survival hobby. By spreading their fucking garbage. <gasps> Nibiru! 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 Nibiru is an aurora event that happens at the edge of the heliosphere whenever anything large energy matter penetrates. And it makes like an aurora. Can you imagine if you could see the aurora from far off and make it real strong? That's what you'd see. Just like a winged planet at the point of incursion. And the wings spread out with the magnetic lines as you got a bunch of supernova plasma hitting the heliosphere. The, ho the holy comforter. And then it goes out, it branches out according to the magnetic field. So take my head. There, there you go. See? There. The bureau. Right? Okay, here's the wings. Okay? Flowing out with the with the wind in the breeze. See see how that goes? 
Okay, same thing. Now, don't be so fucking stupid. If you want a hobby worrying about unreal things that are survival concern, then I suggest you take a look and see what the... Hey, hey, hey! Get back here! I suggest you take a look at what the global Zionists are doing to your governments and your tax money. And all the lands your corporate governments are supposed to hold in trust for you. Right? Okay? That's all fake stuff. That's real. But the causes are fake. They're a bunch of buffoons with cheap gain and subjugation insanity. They're... they're woo, woo. Okay? That's where you can place your fantasies. Don't place them next to science that people have gone to a lot of work, effort, and dedication of their lives and thoughts to try and understand so we might do the Star Trek thing. That means surviving it and getting out there and doing something to repay the universe for all the life we've... <laughs> consumed. So I don't know if that worked or not. <clears throat> I'll have to work on that one where you eat your own arm. Okay. Get real, fools. It's great you want to learn science, but if, if all you're doing is trying to entertain yourself with fear, that's what science fiction was for, okay? Put, at least put, this is a science fiction page. This is a science fiction. This is science belief, not science fact. Okay, because what you're doing is you're turning a bunch of young, bright minds into old belief subjugated fools just like yourself. The very thing you hate about yourself, how you're tricked out of your freedom, you're passing it on without even knowing it. So if you're going to be belief fools, just be honest about it. Okay?